I'm here with Jay Bloom, Vice President of Network Engineering and Development at Sprint. And uh, Jay, so uh, at the show, Sprint has talked about some advancements in its commercial 5G network. Um, what, are, what are those advancements? So what's going on? Well, we've, we've launched nine markets this year, which we've been very public about and very proud of. Yeah. We're up to covering 16 million people now, which is up from 11 million when, when we finished the launch of those nine markets in August. So we continue, our goal is to continue to expand the footprint in those nine markets to get kind of that ubiquitous 5G mobile experience in those specific cities. So it's gone quite well. Excellent. Um, so what technology is helping to advance uh, the, these commercial networks and these the commercial applications uh, coming from 5G? Well, so we're unique in the U.S. to where we have mid-band spectrum, which is sub six gigahertz. So we have a very unique approach that, that is actually helpful to both our, our new 5G subscribers, but as well as our, our LTE subscribers on our 2.5 band. So what we're, we have the ability to do is to, to basically upgrade an existing cell site in our 2.5 band with a LTE capable massive MIMO radio that also does 5G. So we get, the, we get the benefit of all of our subscribers that have a 2.5 capable device get better performance even if it's not a 5G device. So that really helps us. Oh, that's excellent. So you're upgrading 4G at the same time you're, you're adding 5G. That's exactly right. And what kind of throughput or speeds are you seeing you know, on, on that network? So we're seeing average download speeds in the 200 megabits per second range, which is six times the average LTE download speed of 35. So it's, and, and it's consistent. It is, it is a great experience um, in terms of data speed. A good example is you can actually download a movie in one minute on 5G compared to 12 minutes on 4G. Right, and not to mention it's faster than a lot of people have in their broadband in their in their home. Yeah, that's exactly right. In fact, our upload speeds we're seeing are the equivalent of, of 4G download speeds. So we're seeing up a huge improvement in even upload speed. And how is um, uh, Samsung helping with the network infrastructure for Sprint's network? So, so Samsung is one of our, one of our strategic um, infrastructure suppliers. Um, they have a, a so they're they're developing the radio infrastructure for us in some of our markets. They, but with Samsung, they have incredible expertise and and, and depth and and uh, experience in this area. So, one thing that's unique about our approach is to do a concept called split mode, and that's how we get the LTE and the 5G experience in the same radio. Samsung was our first supplier to actually develop the split mode technology even in 4G. So they, they actually years ago built a radio that did WiMAX and LTE. So, so they had the they were had a kind of a head start in doing that from a soccer and a, at a hardware perspective. Okay, excellent. Okay, so what, what excites you most about uh, about the 5G network and, and where do you see this technology sort of taking us? Well, I think this is a starting point. So we, we built the foundation of getting a really uh, ubiquitous footprint then eventually what, what that opens up is a platform for innovation. So just like when 3G to 4G, there was a lot of applications that weren't even developed when, when we launched 4G, you'll start right. to see that with 5G and more specifically, you know, it's really set up for vertical applications to be developed and it's the first generation wireless technology to where it's really intended for that. Um, then first half of next year, we'll start building a standalone 5G core and what that gives you is the low latency required to do a lot of these vertical applications at very high bandwidth. So there's a lot more to come. Excellent, and more to talk about next time. Thanks, Jay, really appreciate it. Thank you.